Good morning, sheep fans. Cammy's the name. Sheep's the game. A glorious morning here in Ayrshire. It's about 10 degrees already. And we're just checking up on our little lambs from yesterday. I am smitten, smitten with this uh, breed of sheep. Ah, they are quite bra. It's going to be a pleasure to shear. Hey, Jock. Oh. <laughs> Our lamb from yesterday. It's on its feet now, it's still not great, but it's getting there. All the, the pets here, just been fed and bed sheets changed. Still lambing away here. Fresh one right out the wrapper. Just go and check the heads, ah, oh, the head's clear. Sorry, lass. Just wanted to check the head was clear. The crystal X. Definitely a perk of the teaser, 17 days and we're down to about 30 sheep in here from 350. Not bad. Number two, one, two. Easy game. Well, I can't remember if I showed you guys this, but we got our hurdles here from 4 ass, and to save some money rather than buy hurdles for the back, because, you know, it's an expensive job, we did this, put a wooden batten, and then just got some of this cheap stuff here. Dead simple. Run, run. Absolutely solid, top and bottom. Saved as, well, oh, I don't know how many hurdles. 20 odd hurdles. And there's no, like, gap for lambs to get down the back. Previously, last year, we used pallets all the way down the back. And it was just messy and pretty horrible, whereas that's far better. I don't even know what's happening here, but I don't like it. What are you doing to that duck? Is this a, is this a mating thing or is this just fighting? Oh, this is the warmest day of the year so far. It's going to be a belter. Might get the shots on yet. We've got some sheep here. These Suffolks that I showed you before, they've started lambing. Everything looks quite healthy. We're going to move them into the shed to save me coming here to check them, of course, and make things easier. We've got loads of space there, as you saw. Right, lass, we'll leave you there now. Oh, I feared the worst there. Tell you one thing about this heat. So now we're running about four and a half hours sleep a night, on average, and drink gallons of water. I think it's a great secret for, not a secret, it's a great tip for staying alive when you're tired and busy, but bursting heads the now, uh, which means bursting sore heads just now. And the heat just kind of magnifies that, so... Yeah, and I tell you one thing, I just I just never really... I always try and stay away from paracetamol and ibuprofen and that because I just think that someday in my life I'm going to really need it. And I want it to give me a good hit. Like, I don't want to get immune to it. So we don't really take any of that stuff. No, I'm not complaining. I know why I've got a sore head. It's just tiredness. And that's life. Hang on, hang on. Is that a tiny violin? <coughs> Right, Meg, just shed the ewes and lambs out, please. Leave the ewes and lambs here. That's the first one. What are you doing? I don't think she's got a lamb. Shh. What are you doing, Meg? Right. Try, try and cut in here. And, right, let that texel back. Is that texel lambed? No, I don't think that takes a hustle. Bring her, bring her. Right. Aye, ah, that's fine. Hold them there. Fresh one right there. That's going to be warm the day. You, you must be getting warm now. Aye. <laughs> it's getting warm today. Oh. What are you doing? First day of the year. And the singlet, white arm, I'll be sunburnt today. Oh, these shudders haven't seen sun for six months or so. Even Marissa's taking her jumper off, it's unbelievable. It's never been done before. I'm not flexing, this is just me natural. If I was flexing it, it'd be like, 
Oh, I've pulled a muscle. Oh no, my arm. Jacob here with a hung lamb. I've just jumped out and grabbed her. One thing, when it's warm and sunny like that, if it comes just head first, dries out so fast, swells up. Oh, here's the next one. Should be absolutely fine. It is coming the same. So there you go, mum's just got that one. She loves it, she's done this a few times before, quite a unique looking sheep. So a bit of a shame that coming two cracking lambs, but I do I do really like these Jacobs, they've done me great. She's got she's an older girl now, but they've been great mums. Usually give you absolutely cracking lambs, so I'll just move that so you can get up mum. And that's a Texo lamb, but the Jacob lambs always come out black. I believe no matter what breed you use, they come out black. It's a nuisance that, but it's, uh, it's such a shame that, but like, when the head comes out like that and I deal with this, you don't get very long. I think that's the first like head out, swollen, hung one we've had. Actually, I've been quite lucky. We've had a couple that were hung like right in the pelvis, but that's the first one like that. Big meal you shouldn't get hung, although she is a Jacob, obviously. Just out doing the rounds. Is that a lamb? I think that's a lamb. Oh, jinx, that's happened to this thing here. Oh, no, not another. Oh, no, just, just a plastic bag. Ah, ha, ha, ha. You fly. I should actually run at this. I don't know what I'm thinking here. No, I can't really run at it because I'll miss, miss step. Just a big jump, Cammy. Why are you being so scared? I just jumped over here. But it's actually harder from this side. Run. Still got it. Still got it. Still got it. What's going on in here? Hiding the rushes, lass. Oh, there's some sort of juices there. That could be her thinking about it. Lizzie means business here. What's happening, Lizzie? Right. We're going to have an examination. Yep. I, I know you should put the gloves on before you've even caught the sheep. Because you're going to catch it. <laughs> She's so slow and heavy, it's quite an easy one, I'll give you that. Oh, forgot about him there. No, you, Robbie. We Angus. Forgot about Angus. Twins and a single lambing. Just to confirm, she, she wasn't lambing then. She's up to something though. Only time will tell us. This was the UN lamb that Lizzie pulled out backwards yesterday. Well, just the lamb. That she pulled out backwards yesterday and we brought into the shed last night. Doing better today. We lambs looking not great, but it's getting there. She's got a little entropian interned eyelid here we might need to tackle. Come right, no, come right, don't move that. We need that. We need the juice to go in there, Robbie. Oh. Right, come and try. It's not gonna be easy though, it's a big lamb. But have a try. It doesn't hit, but it's so slappy. No, that's how it is, though. <laughs> keep pulling, you should keep pulling the two legs. Down the way, pull down towards you. Down yep. towards <laughs> you. A big, a big lamb. Steady me, lamb. Steady me, lamb. It's a big lamp. There you go, pull it down. Keep pulling. Keep pulling. Should be out. Keep pulling. Use your muscles. Stand up if you need to. There you go. There it is. Doddle. Now what just obviously this lamb's okay, that's great. That's it. Loads of good juice here. Oh steady mum. Oh, is that true, Robbie? You keep mixing, I'll put her in the paint. The dream team at work here. 
They look pretty juicy, guys. Let's lift that in with that sheep and see how she takes it. <laughs> Some ewes and lambs that we put out earlier. Just stick them in this line for a bit and let them mother up. Before we just let them wander through here. It's a beautiful evening. Ewes and lambs looking well. Spotted a fox. See it there? Right in the middle of the screen. Just watching what we're doing. Right, I'll take the horn and see what it does. Oh no, can't take the horn because the engine's off. And our Cheviot Ewers lambed here in the rushes. Great natural survival instincts. And nature has played a part again. And two good live lambs, one not so live. Thank me lambs, I can stop worrying about her now. At least she's lambed safe and well. So Marissa's been working for us for almost a year now. And I've been working on her, um, not so much her confidence, but our, uh, sometimes she worries too much about how she looks on the camera. So when I tell her to like jump out and grab a lamb, she's a bit nervy about it. We're, I've just unleashed this amazing weapon now because she's rapid. And I'm like, were you quite quick in school? And she's like, I used to win all the races. She is rapid. So now, needless to say, she doesn't worry so much and she just catches the bloody lamb, which is what I wanted in the first place. I'll never need to catch a lamb again. I should explain this as I was doing our nightly rounds. We'll try to do this five days in a row with the Sinulux, even when the lambs start to get better. We'll, we'll treat them and we're just doing like little tally marks on them so we know they're treated. I think we're up to seven now. We're treating for joint ill. so fast out the pickup, I can't get the button pressed in time to get her. You're too quick, I can't even press the button to... It's just like, it's just like wheels one, bang and she's away. Keep over shooting, I was that one. Aye, aye, you're actually too fast for the lambs now. Look at these absolute belters. How cool are those little lambs? Lizzie back from her rounds with Jock. I'm sorry, we didn't. Oh, did you know? I was just about to ask, how did you get on? Yeah, well, you can't film Jock on the bike. Ankle, Chasing sheep in there, yeah. No Lizzie cam tonight, folks, unfortunately, but there's a bit of Jock and a bit of Lizzie. <coughs> That's us for this one. We'll see you for the next one.